Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to talk to you about Google's Cast for Education, which allows you to wirelessly share or project your screen to another device. Now, uh, in your typical classroom, you probably have your classroom desktop or laptop machine that's docked, and you have a projection screen or a smart board, and those two are somehow somewhere connected with a wire that allows you to project the image of your desktop up to your projection board or your smart board. And that's been working fine for a long time. But now you have all these student devices and, and we'll pretend that they're Chromebooks for this example. And uh, you're thinking, geez, it'd be really nice if I could have one of my students show their screen up on the projection board. So you try to figure out how to unplug your desktop, plug the student's laptop in, you find out the connections don't work because they're different connectors and you say, ah, it can't possibly work. Oh, but wait, it can. That's where Google Cast for Education comes in. Google Cast for Education, when it's run, which we'll show you how in just a second, allows a student's device to wirelessly project onto, in this case, the classroom desktop machine, which is then connected to your smart board. So it's not necessarily that the student is directly projecting their image. They're projecting it onto a window that opens on your connected machine. So there are some definite advantages to this. First off, this requires no additional hardware. If you're familiar with Apple's AirPlay, you have to have an Apple TV in order to make that work. If you're familiar with Google's Chromecast, you have to have the Chromecast dongle to work. This requires no additional equipment. The other advantage to it is you can select who can access your screen at what time. Uh, you can't do that with AirPlay and with Chromecast currently. It's just a wide open access, basically. There are little, you know, you can put in pin codes and stuff like that. But with Cast for Education, you can actually select a single person is the only one that can ever have access or a whole class can have access. The one little catch is that in order to cast their screen, users have to be in the same domain. So that means a student can share with a teacher if they're both on their school account. But a teacher from one district cannot currently cast to another district. You have to be within the same domain. So let's take a look at what you need to make this work. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the Cast for Education extension. It kind of acts more like an app, but it's classified as an extension. To do that, go to the Google Web Store. You can either search out Web Store, or you can get there through a variety of ways. And once you're there, search for Cast for Education. And you'll see it should come up first. It's the Google Cast for Education. It has this little green icon with three uh, white arcs through it, uh, and you wanna add that to Chrome. So you can say add extension, and poof, life is good. Once that's ready to go, you can click that extension. Now I am on a Mac right now. If you're on a Chromebook, I Uh, so once you have it up and running, you see it opens up a new window on my machine. You have to name the server, so I'll just call this Brayland, and I'm gonna automatically give full screen, that's fine, these are all good, save. I'm all set to go, I am all ready to cast, but I have to say who can have access. So now I just have to grant access to who can share their screen with me. And you can do that by entering in email addresses down in this little box, so I'll start with Barb, Taz Burr, and there she is, boop. And I can say, can request or can present. The difference here, can request, means you'll, you as the teacher will get a little pop-up window that says, so-and-so would like to share their screen, do you approve? If you set them as can present, they just poof, show their screen. There is no approval process. So we suggest can request. And I'm gonna say add and close. And we're good to go. This person can now share their screen with me. If I wanna add more people, all I have to do is hit share, and it's just like any other Google product. I can add them down here. Now, you may have noticed that when I click down here, Google Classroom lists come up. That's one way that you can set this up to share with your students on a class-by-class -class basis if you're in a secondary or maybe a middle school teaching environment where kids are moving between classrooms. Um, just go to Google Classroom, set up a class, get your students in there, and then if you don't choose to use that environment, you never have to touch it again. Um, but they will automatically show up here, and now 
anyone in that class can have access. So that means I can turn on per, you know, period two during period two and then turn it off during period three so that it's a class by class basis. So now that I have that set to go, how do you cast as a student or as another participant? Well, let's pretend this window doesn't exist. If I wanted to cast my screen, what you do is on the top right-hand corner, you have three little dots in your Chrome browser. When you click on that, about halfway down, you'll see the option to cast. You wanna click on that. That'll bring up this little pop down. Now here's the real big catch where it says cast two. When you click on that, you can cast just the tab that you're on or the desktop. We suggest switching it to desktop, which unfortunately, you're gonna to have to do this every single time you ask to cast. The reason is if you cast just your tab, it will show just this tab that you're on. It, if I switch to another tab, that won't show up. It'll still stay on this view. Also, if you open up something like a whiteboard writer or something like that on a Chromebook, that won't show up unless you cast desktop. Once that happens, if you've been given access, uh, your receiver will show up on this list. Simply click on the receiver and this little pop-up window will come up. Select the screen you want by clicking on it and click share. I'm not gonna do that because it will set up a redundancy in here. Um, but you should hit share and on the teacher's computer, you'll get the pop-up window for approval and then poof, you're good to go. Once you say yes, the screen will show up on your computer. So again, in order for this to work, the students have to be using Google Chrome and the teacher, ha the, the receiving device, if you will, has to be using Google Chrome with the Cast for Education open. Uh, now, this doesn't always work. This is still kind of new and sometimes it just, it doesn't work. You have to restart it, try a couple times. Um, but once it does start up, you're good to go. Students can switch access, switch presenting, and it works awesome. So this is a great, great tool to use in your classroom to showcase student work to the entire class. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to come in and help you set it up. I know it can be a little confusing, um, but any other questions, feel free to email me. And as always, thank you for watching.